In this video, we are going to unbox the Raspberry Pi and see how to install Kali Linux on it. So let's get started. So let's first quickly unbox and see what we get inside. The first thing we get is the Raspberry Pi itself and the two papers. You can pause here if you want to read them. The Raspberry Pi is nicely packed inside a static proof bag which is mandatory for the sensitive electronics component like it. The board has one Ethernet port and the four USB 2.0 headers which is a nice thing and it has also 40 GPIO pins which stand for general purpose input output pins and the other side has female header for the display and this side has micro USB for the power, HDMI output, female header for the camera module and the audio jack which is a nice thing and the other side of the board also has a micro SD card slot which is a push and pull type. The board is powered by Broadcom's 1.2 GHz processor which is a 64-bit CPU. It also has 1 GB of RAM which is shared with the GPU and the onboard Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth 4.1. For installing the Kali Linux, we will need SD card at least 8 GB or higher. I will recommend you to get a class 10 SD card, card reader and a computer. First go to OffensiveSecurity.com. Under the project section, you will find the Kali Linux. Click on it, then scroll down and locate the image file for the Raspberry Pi and download it. Now we need SD formatter and the Win32 disk images, which you can download for free. And I will put all the necessary download links in the description. So do not forget to check that. Once all the files are downloaded, extract them and install both SG formatter and Win32 disk images. I have already done it. So now insert your SG card and open the SG formatter and click on the option make sure format size adjustment is on hit ok and click format make sure you have backed up all your important data if any on sd card after format hit ok and then exit now run win32 disk imager as administrator select the sd card and the image file of the kali linux after that make sure to hit write and hit yes it will take some time for me it took 10 minutes after that hit ok and exit here are all the files we just flashed on the SD card. Do not worry if it says your SD card is of 60 MB. It's normal. Now eject the SD card from the computer. Next, insert the SD card into the Raspberry Pi. After that, give power to the Raspberry Pi a micro USB and connect it to monitor or display. And we are done. If this video helps you, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.